What's going on guys, DB here, and this is my very first guitar video for YouTube. I found myself in a situation that might benefit some people. I have the ability to compare a modern 1980s Gibson Explorer to my original 1984 Gibson Explorer. So I thought I would throw this video together and maybe help some folks out with questions. We get a nice molded hard shell case with the guitar as you would with any new Gibson fits very snugly in there, no concerns for its safety when traveling. With the case, you get your usual Gibson Fair warranty card information, case lock, multi-tool, but I did not get a factory photo with mine and it was new from Guitar Center. As far as the finish goes, I found no blemishes. I'm not looking too hard because I'm just your average guitar player. I don't do this professionally. Again, on the back, everything seems nice and smooth. Um, I've already put on the strap locks of my choice, but that's really it. Those don't come with it. With the neck, we have a very straight profile, no overhang on the frets. The fretboard seems to be exactly, you know, up to spec. Nothing weird on this side either. So I think we'll move on. Nothing stands out, nothing catches me. I got my money's worth for this guitar. Comparing it, to the original 1984 Explorer, uh, we can see the original has a much softer profile, more rounder edges, but the dimensions more or less seem to line up. The, the modern reissue very much is the current Gibson body style. They did not come up with a new tooling system to accurately recreate that 80s body. And we can see that here, comparing that to Captain Aham's modern Gibson Explorer. Thanks very much to him for letting me borrow it for this video. So with the visuals out of the way, let's move on to some tone tests. And disclaimer, I am a very average guitar player. Now, we're going to do the tone test. Gibson 80s. Uh, the, basically, I'm just running this through Boss G2000. So... For clean tones, we're going to use what they call 12 string, bank 10, channel 1. That's on the bridge, here's on the neck. Here is some crunch for you. Some going to try and do that consistently across the other guitars. Here's our original 1984 Gibson Explorer. Uh, all the mods are cosmetic. That makes the factory. And then the bridge pickup. We're going to compare to a current Gibson Explorer, more or less what you just buy off the rack today, nothing special. 
I borrowed this from a friend of mine, so big thanks to Captain for a finding it. Clean again. With our neck pickup. his guitar is a little lower than me so it's kind of awkward for this but distortion in our lead tones Just for a fun bonus, I thought I would grab one of the more modern Epiphone Explorers they're putting out. Ghost Horse. Uh, visually, there's a lot of different. Pairing it, if you want that traditional Explorer look, you've got the deeper cut here. This rises a little higher, plus it's a 24 fret guitar. And obviously. Uh, but here we go through the same settings. So after the tone test, I find that the 80s reissue has a much sharper, more modern guitar tone, whereas the original 1984 is more subdued, less in your face. The 80s Explorer that you can buy today sounds like you remember the 80s and not like what it actually sounded like. They both play very similar, have the same control layout, and very much the same vibe. If you want that vibe, this is a great guitar for you. If you want a modern Explorer for the modern guitar player, though, I very much suggest the Brendan Small Ghost Horse. 24 frets, Floyd Rose, coil taps, you name it, it's got it. So who is this guitar for? It's for someone who wants the look, someone who wants the Metallica Live in Mexico City vibe. I love it for what it is, but I also didn't pay MSRP, and neither should you. But that's it. That's just my very average guitar player opinion. Uh, follow me on the socials, Dr. Beer Attorney at Law on Twitch. And let me know in the comments what you thought of these guitars.